Hey everybody, welcome back to Serefnet Gaming, I'm Marcus. And I'm Travis. And we're actually done with Dark Souls, but Travis is going to take me on a run through the, uh, what is it, like the side stuff? It's, it's, it's a different rendition of the story. Yes, an alternate route, really. Um, we've actually already done some of it and we're just kind of clipping around here. Um, but uh, this, uh, this route assumes that you don't know the proper path to take and you're just kind of exploring on your own. Um, and you can accidentally end up in certain places while you're doing so. <coughs> so, um, now I took this game to, uh, I, I ran and I killed, um, I rang the two bells of awakening and I killed the iron golem and I killed Orson and Smo and Sif already. Um, but if you were exploring on your own, you could go from, um, you can go straight here to New Londo, which is where I am now, about to go fight the Four Kings. Um, there's actually nothing that prevents you from, from fighting these guys at the very beginning of the game, uh, other than the fact that it's hella hard. Um, Ingward, the sealer of the Abyss that we spoke to to get here, uh, will give you the key if you have the Lord Vessel in your hand. Um, but in the beginning of the game, if you, you do not have the Lord Vessel, you can just kill him uh, and and get that same key that allows you to uh, basically drain the water in uh, Mulondo. So wait, you don't need the ring to do this? You do need the ring. Okay, okay, that's right. You can't kill these guys first. You can kill these guys second um, if you go and kill Sif. Um, Got it. Because there is a straight path to Sif um, if you took the Master Key in the beginning or if you ended up killing the Taurus demon and just ran through everyone and you can actually skip um, the gargoyles. Have you been in Undead Parish at all? I have completely avoided Undead Parish. <laughs> I've never <laughs> set foot. That's uh, cool. In this particular run, I had uh, Marcus buy the key, the master key, because you can buy it towards the end of the game um, or you start the game with it if you chose a thief. Uh, so I had him buy the key just so it'd be ready for me on my playthrough so I could, you know, skip around. I actually went and rung the Blighttown bell before I rang uh, Gargoyles, which uh, is rather interesting. I also took the shortcut through Blighttown, and I haven't even set foot into the depths. I haven't fought the gaping dragon at all. Um, is that even required? <coughs> no, no. <clears throat> As you saw, I just skipped it. Right. <clears throat> so um, right now we're going to go fight the four kings, and we're going to encounter um, a person who knows a different path through the game and knows more things than normal. Now, normally we would never encounter this thing um, if, you know, if <clears throat> you took the path of least resistance, but if you were truly exploring and just went away a certain way, however you like, and went on it, you could discover this on your own through sheer... Uh, so whoever this stranger is appears to you because you haven't been approached by the <coughs> gods, by the the pantheon of Gwyn? Because I have not spoken to King Seeker Frampt at all. Oh, okay. It's okay. Okay. So I've won. I beat uh, the four kings. Grats. Where my half set got a shit ton of souls. Sure. Now um, what? Now so what? Now we're in the abyss. Now we're going to meet the person that I told you who has more knowledge. Who's in the abyss? Just, hey, wait a minute. That's King Sictor Framed. It is not. That's bullshit. Yeah, it is. It is a primordial serpent. Oh. But it is not King Sigurd Framed. And he's just hanging out in the abyss? Let us speak to him. It looks like... Greetings, undead warrior. I am the primordial serpent, Darkstalker Kaf. I can guide thee and illuminate the truth. The truth I shall share without sentiment. After the advent of fire, the ancient lords found the three souls, but your progenitor found a fourth, unique soul. The progenitor. The dark soul. Your ancestor claimed the Dark Souls and waited for fire to subside. And soon the flames did fade and only dark remained. 
Thus began the Age of Men, the Age of Dark. However, Lord Gwyn trembled at the dark, clinging to his Age of Fire and in dire fear of humans, and the Dark Lord who would one day be born amongst them. Lord Gwyn resisted the course of nature by sacrificing himself to link the fire and commanding his children to shepherd the humans. Gwyn has blurred your past to prevent the birth of the Dark Lord. I am the primordial serpent. I seek to right the wrongs of the past, to discover our true Lord. But the other serpent, Framped, lost his sense and befriended Lord Gwyn. Undead warrior, we stand at a crossroads. Only I know the truth about your fate. You must destroy the fading Lord Gwyn, who has coddled fire and resisted nature, and become the fourth Lord so that you may usher in an age of dark. Holy well. shit. I shall now he lays it out. To Gwyn's prison. Yes. Be still exactly as you, I mean, you have to have the whole like, game you kind of teased it. He flat out explained everything. And while everyone else kind of just gives you hints or kind of like tells you or leads you on, He's the only person that just tells you the whole story. You're right. You're right. Yeah, he's... Oh, wow. And he leads you here, too, just like the... Just exactly. like Fromp stuff. Except he doesn't pop up upside down. He comes in th from below. This sir, sir. Is Gwyn's prison. He calls it Gwyn's now, prison. Place the Lord and so he talks about water. righting the wrongs of the past, right? Does yes. that mean that he is from another time? Well, he's called the Primordial Serpent. Primordial means, you know, first... Original, thing, like, original the like origin old. story type thing. Right. So, what he says is that um, our progenitor found a fourth unique soul. And then he also talks about um, once the flames would fade, that only dark would remain, and it would begin the age of men, the age of dark. So, basically, dark and man are the same. Which completely makes sense when you look at humanity and you think of what humanity makes you when you consume it or whatever. You pop it, you know, you quote unquote hop, pop humanity and you lose your undead self and you become you know, flesh and bone. Right. Essentially. So it's almost like the curse of the undead is the curse of this, this unnatural extension of the age of fire. And this is the first person who said what comes next after the Age of Fire. Because that was my big confusion with our first playthrough. Is like, okay, so yeah, I understand that he's trying to continue the cycle of the first flame. And that could be out of fear for not knowing what's next. But then this guy, this primordial serpent comes along says, he doesn't necessarily say that he's from the past or the future or whatever, but he says he's a primordial serpent coming to... He's not coming to rectify the past. He's, he, he did mention something about like a, a timeline shift, it seemed like. Not really. It's more like he's talking about he seeks to right the wrongs of the past. As in, right. because Gwyn resisted the course of nature, and by sacrificing himself to link the fire and command his, um, commanding his children to shepherd the humans. So the gods and the, uh, the primordial serpent... Um, what do you call them? Uh, King Seeker Frampt are basically existing to blur the past, to prevent this Dark Lord from succeeding, which is why it's so hard um, to so it's so hard to meet uh, this Dark Stalker before you meet. Very well, Frampt. because they're trying to hide it. Mm -hmm. the they're trying to, like you said, so funnel you to a certain direction. To and this is the first time that we've been told Seek. that. Grave the Lord age, Nito, or the the cycle the after the age of fire, and the is crater, really, it's it's for man. It's, Fill so. this vessel with their souls, then the gate will open, 
so that you may kill Gwyn. He even says, you go and you kill Gwyn. He basically spoils the ending of the game. Then, Not a spoil, but you know. To mm. the abyss, <coughs> and trust thine flesh to me. Well, but I mean, like I said, I think I said in our last episode, I was coming up to the last boss expecting to rekindle the first flame. I didn't know who I was going to face. Mm -hmm. Just based on plot line itself. And it's extremely interesting that all of the um, folks who I've encountered in the past have um, hidden the fact that Gwyn was not um, the person he was maybe when he rekindled the flame. That he had gone hollow and they needed someone else to come and rekindle the flame. And so they had hidden that because I was like, Lord Gwyn seems like the first person who would want me to, like, reignite the first flame. He would, yep. But he too has suffered for linking the fire. He sacrificed himself. That's how much he feared the dark that he didn't even care if he went hollow because of it. Right. And that's what we saw at the ending of Baby Cake's first playthrough. Mm -hmm. And that became of Baby Cake. And he, we can only assume that he went hollow as well, right? in time maybe eventually or maybe he went he sacrificed himself right then and there i assume so when that, he burned up yeah so that the age of fire could continue but as you say more than one person thinks that this thing is unnatural the extending of the flame yeah yeah can, so what are, you, what are you doing right now uh so i'm gaining some extra humanity so i can level up in this person's covenant because he has one i'm going to give him 30 humanity so that I can max out, because it's ten to the first level and twenty to the second level. <coughs> what's what's like what's that gonna do for us? I mean, I didn't even see We gain some items from which we can gain more insight. Okay, alright. Now we're receiving the dark set and the dark sword. Now if you, it's actually the dark wraith stuff. So that's interesting. Yeah, the dark sword actually was what I used through all of Dark Souls Under three. Uh, okay. The recommendation to speak of a buddy. Now is premature. It begins with your retrieval of the Lord Vessel. Oh, yeah, so he would say that if yeah, well. um, we hadn't already grabbed it. So that, that big uh, info dump you just gave us, that's yeah. because I already had the Lord uh, Vessel. If I didn't have that, then he would not have said all that. Vitality, Endurance, and Dex, is that 40? Damn. Yeah. All right, uh, let's go see something else now. Baby cake more like... But let's, uh, let's read up on the dark cake. set. And the dark, uh, cracked red. Oh, sorry, the the red eye orb and the dark sword. Let's start with the orb. His cracked red eye orb is also an item of Dark Souls Three. I remember. Anyway. Yeah. So this item says, "The dark wraiths of Kath use this orb to seek humanity and plunge further into dark. Perhaps they are more human than we. Right? Because." Humanity and humans are dark. So maybe they're more human than like we as a normal people. To boost all right, so let's take a look at that dark set and all. It probably doesn't have any useful information in it. Let's just skip it. It says, Mask of the Dark Wraiths, former knights of New Londo who descended into dark. Some say the skeletal mask of an ancient dark wraith is partially fused with the flesh of its face. Gross. So this is actually interesting. It says, Former knights of Nudlondo who descended into dark. It does not say that the dark wraiths came from the dark, as I believe someone else once said. It flat out says that the that they went into dark. They're, um, it remains a symbol of the dark servants and their diabolical art of life drain. So would they have originated from Anorlando? No, from, from New London. Well, I mean, I, I they guess... They were knights of New London, like the Four Kings. Oh, there's the Dark Hand. And I don't they... That, but... They... Um, uh, sl um, descended into Dark and became Dark Wraiths after they met Kath. Oh. Dark so he, Hand. Okay. The Dark Wraiths, incited by Kath, used the power of the Dark Soul to absorb humanity. The very name, Dark Soul... An art shared by this weapon, which also acts as a special shield, 
The ancients, particularly, could sap the humanity of even a replete saint in the blink of an eye. You can also grab NPCs and steal their humanity. As long as they were human, right? Uh, yeah, but, like, all the NPCs are, are in human form. You can steal their humanity from them. Hmm. And what's cool is that, actually, um, most of them won't aggro. What do you mean? When you do it. Most of them won't aggro. They won't get angry and attack you. Oh, so, like, if you fail it, they won't? Or, like, you <clears> do no, it and they're just succeed gonna... and they don't care. Not all of them, but some of them do. Uh, and then the last item we need is the Dark Sword. Let's go look for that. Okay. We're... Oh, we have it, right? I mean, boom. It's found actually, it. There it's it is. a pretty good weapon. Uh, looks like it scales with strength and dex, but at a C level. I'm sure that'll improve. That's what I used for, like I said, 60% of the game. The Sword of the Knights of the Four Kings of New Londo. Its blade is wide and thick, and it is wielded in an unusual manner. When the four kings were seduced by evil, oh. their knights became dark wraiths, servants of the dark who wielded these dark swords. So now they're talking about seduced by evil. So it's... But here's the thing. Yeah. Maybe man, humanity, the dark, the abyss are evil, but they are who we are. Mm. That is who we are. I mean, I, I can only assume that evil is a paradigm. Evil doesn't necessarily see itself as, itself as evil, right? I mean, sure. that's why not? That's all a paradigm of yeah. where the you serve of, it from. The Furge of Pygmy has laid this out as our path, and they, the gods, have attempted to stop us. So now we've learned from the, the Dark Moon Seance Ring that Gwendolyn is the only uh, left god left, and Guinevere. Is an illusion. So we yes. challenge this illusion now. Ooh. Are you ready? Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh no. Right in the boobs. That was the face. Same thing. Thou that tarnisheth the Godmother's image, I am Gwyndolin. And thy transgression shall not go unpunished. Thou shalt perish in the twilight of Anor London. Do you remember in the beginning of the very, very beginning of the game, during the opening cinema, they said that man does not seek, um, does not witness days and light, but only endless nights? Mm. The very sun in Anor Londo is an illusion. It, so in, now we can see that it was taken away is yes the essence of why we know it is. He doesn't it, bother with the illusion anymore. So now we have merely this endless twilight. Oh, man. Do you remember um, when we came to uh, uh, Anor Londo in Dark Souls 3? It was nighttime there too. Uh, I don't necessarily remember that. The big I have giants are absolutely gone. terrible memory. Yeah, you're right. They are the ones who were pain in the asses that we had to like run all around. These, these knights, who probably are Dark Moon Covenant of Gwendolyn. Yes, and we'll meet another person. So it's oh, I, wow! That like knocked my poise so bad. You got this, Travis. That I couldn't um, get out of it. That was amazing. So, I mean, you could do this as just kind of a smart-ass player too, then, huh? Yeah. You, you come across and you're like, oh, yeah, whatever, I'm going to take a pot shot at this lady sitting on this, this sofa. This sweet tits. Yeah, right, and you could... I think I even made some sort of snide comment about attacking the... No! The figure that was, that, was, that was laying on the sofa. Mm -hmm. And that would really unravel something that you have no idea what is going on or why it's going on. Mm-hmm. Look who we fight here. Uh, the firekeeper. Yeah, so you do. You, Absolutely. Of course, that totally makes sense. How dare you produce a blade upon a deity? How did you Just ever get this far? I shall end your suffering here and now. It is the least that I can do. Oh, oh no. No! What you saw oh. under the light of the dark moon will well. haunt you forever. Under the light of the dark moon. Now you know why he's called the Dark Moon or the Dark Sun. <laughs> well, that was pretty cool. 
So now, I didn't even equip the ring to break the illusion. It <gasps> breaks on its own. Oh, of course. I assume after you shoot a shot and do the illusion's head. Yeah, you know I mean. Okay, now I'm going to go fight this boss. So this is Gwendolyn. Now we're going to go challenge him. We are no longer given the option to kneel. Yeah, now we should, we should. There's do no what, dialogue at all here, huh? No. Well, Duke, we're going to do what we uh, what you said you wouldn't do last time. We're going to commit, commit blasphemy. I'm really excited to see what's on the other side of this, because it could look like anything here. First thou offended the godmother, and now thou see fit to trample upon the tomb of the great If you Lord. remember, this is considered to be the tomb of Lord Gwyn, but we know that Lord Gwyn is not here. Gwyndolin. Let the atonement for thy felonies commence. You sound a lot like, um... The Lothric brothers. Yeah, there's only a few. It seems like only like certain like lord types actually speak with the have th that air. Yeah, that type of like. Boom, nice. But if you could baby cake him, that would be just the most perfect thing. I'm not baby cake. I'm well, not, no, I'm... you are. Ah, oh, so disappointing. <laughs> All right. Oh, heretic, swathed in dark. An eternal Couple curse upon dark. thee. There already is a curse on us. But we are uh, susceptible to curses. <laughs> the the undead now. curses. Now I have the soul of Gwendolyn. Let's read this soul of Gwendolyn. Um, in fact, we probably should have read some of these souls in general, but we never did. The readings for suck us. Soul of Dark Moon Gwendolyn, god of the dark sun and guardian of deserted to Einar Londo. Special beings of special souls. Okay, yeah. Hmm, nothing special. Okay. Yeah, we're already read. So now this is the tomb of Lord Gwyn. And this is... In Despite the fact that DS3, this is not... For sure. Yeah, this is in Dark Souls 3. This is not the size of Gwyn. No. There are flowers on top, though. What do you mean? When you say it's not the size of Gwyn, Gwyn's uh, a little bigger. Yeah, Gwyn is like human size. Yeah, right. So why is it so, it's big? so big? Why is it so big? Got it. Well, I mean, Gwendolyn or Guinevere was projected to be much bigger. Sure. Miracle, Sunlight Blade. You're not even checking these, Travis. We will, once we collect them all. I'm just that saying. That one's empty. It could be a mimic. Is that one empty? And also, why is this chair here? It could be a mimic. There's no mimics here. I know. That's the Guardian's Firekeeper set. Exactly. Let's see if we can read that really quick. After becoming undead, she visited the Dark Sun Gwendolyn at the Mausoleum of the Spiral Depths, became a blade of the Dark Moon, and assumed the flame giving duty. She received this armor, which hides her hideous form and oh. helps her hunt the guilty. Wow. Let's take a look at that miracle. It's a strong miracle. Is it Sunlight Blade? Uh, it sounds right. Sounds right, Travis. Yep. Come on, T-Dog. Miracle wielded by Lord Gwyn's firstborn boosts right weapon with rays of sun. The power of sunlight manifested as lightning is very effective against dragons. When the eldest son was stripped of his deific status, he left this on his father's coffin, perhaps as a final farewell. And the firstborn is the un unnamed king. Nameless king. That's Nameless right. king. All right. And he's essentially the only surviving member of the Gwyn pantheon. <laughs> Well, we don't know where Guinevere is. Guinevere is completely missing. We know that she left. So Guinevere is a factual person. Didn't then. she leave with Flan, or Flan, or something like that? I I remember the name Flan, but um, I I I had assumed that Guinevere was a completely fictitious. Oh, oh no, Guinevere was uh, at least at some point real, but this okay. uh, is an illusion of, of her. her. Okay, right. We found out that. Uh, Gwendolyn um, was keeping the place to himself. Um, there wasn't much reason to go kill him, as you saw. Yeah. We weren't given any, like, new truth. Um, and he seemed like he was kind of just doing his own thing and kind of keeping the, the thing going. However, um, the fact that he illusions Guinevere and that he is... In keeping with the f the flame, the 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 fire, and with Gwyn's uh, desire, because if you recall, Kath said, 
command he commanded his children to shepherd the uh, humans in a way he's implicit in in keeping that illusion going yeah. so you could kill him as revenge but once you know there's no real point to do it other than you're angry and you want to get him yeah and other than, it, it seems like the easiest accidental way to discover that something's going wrong even if you don't realize what it is when you do it like Right. Putting an arrow into Gwendolyn's chest or whatever. Exactly. So now, the only thing left to do, now that we know about what the dark is, we know that the furtive pygmy is our progenitor, and that we are men, and we are dark, and we are, like, heirs to the dark, and I am supposed to be the dark lord, or baby cake is supposed to be the dark lord. Um... And that this is the fate that was that was laid out for us by the furtive pygmy. So they intentionally bury the furtive pygmy, right? Mm-hmm. Obviously. Yeah. Well, because who's pygmy? Like, we're all small compared to everyone mm-hmm. else. Because um, everyone else is a giant. So we are the pygmies. And we're, we're, we, we kept our head down during the Age of Fire. And we waited for fire to end. For the flames to fade, until eventually dark would remain and we would take our rightful place. Mm-hmm. Gwyn didn't want to give up power. He didn't want to pass on to the next age. There might be an age after dark. We don't know. But he was too afraid to do anything about it. Okay, so now that all the other uh, lords are defeated and we are ready to take our rightful place as the the Lord of Man. Lord of Dark, the Dark Lord. Um, servants of servants. No, we're lords, not servants of the blackness. Yeah, of black. So now we shall uh, speak to him. What is it? I am your guardian. Go on, state your wish. They failed me. Every last one of them. They were strong. So not the truth. I am certain that you will prove different. And he's talking about other undead before you, right? Obviously. Yeah, very well. Be still. And trust thy flesh to me. Oh. Alright. Now I'm not going to finish the game in this gear because obviously this weapon is not beefed up or anything. You should do it. You're not built for it. You should do it. I shall now offer my soul, offer the souls to the Lord Vessel. Okay, so same, same. Door opens, right? Yep. It won't actually change till the very end. Uh, before I go in, though, uh, let's do a few things. Uh, so I went to uh, a merchant and managed to purchase uh, Gwyn's gear. Um, oh, God, it doesn't look great on Baby no, Cake. No, it doesn't look great on Baby Cake, but Baby Cake right. isn't exactly, like, the most beautiful person Whoa. in general. But let's, uh, let's read some of this gear. So this is the crown of Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. Lord Gwyn, bearer of the ultimate soul, divided his power among his great clan before linking the flame. But he did keep his crown, perhaps to preserve a symbol of the monarch, for its actual power had fully subsided. Whoops. <clears throat> it says, when he departed, he left only with his great sword, his garb, and the crown, now bereft of power. I think the others say the same. Yes. Mm, yeah. So I also managed to pick up Gwendolyn's gear. Um, and let's speak about him a bit. That one's way cool. Right? I really like that this one's helmet. Awesome. This helmet's super cool. Uh, let's read about that as well. Have you seen Pan's Labyrinth? Yes, I have. Uh, this crown of the gods demands faith immeasurable of its wearer, but it is imbued with dark moon power that enhances all magic. The image of the sun manifests Gwendolyn's deep adoration of the sun. 
So yeah, it'll actually enhance your magic, so that's cool. So you... is the admiration for the sun, even though he's the dark moon and the dark sun? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The power of the moon was strong in Gwendolyn, and thus he was raised as a daughter. His magic garb is silk-thin and hardly provides any physical defense. What? The same. So yes, so Gwendolyn was raised as a daughter. Um... Which I find rather interesting. So uh, let's. Uh, so one of my favorite gear sets to wear is this set because I think it just looks amazing. This black cleric robe from the um, the man who who's in the oh the, right the church the worshiper of Vecna with the helmet of Gwendolyn. Velka. Velka. Uh, Vel Velka. I think this set is amazing. I love this look. It looks like it belongs in Bloodborne. Yeah. So let's let's rock that set because this is my faves. Um, let's make sure I'm wearing something good for this final fight. Final fight. Let's choose my rings. Let's see if anyone has anything interesting left to say. I think there's somebody I want to speak to. Um, it doesn't say why Gwendolyn was raised as a daughter, does it? It just says that he was. I think it was because. Um, Maybe because he, he had a high affinity for the moon, you know? I'm not and sure, really. You have followed my teachings faithfully. You are the true lord of the moon. Lord of men. The dark lord. Now go forth and rid us of that enfeebled Gwyn. I, Kath, shall await you here. But no matter what you do, it's still going to end with you going hollow, isn't it? Well, let's find out. Actually... Before we do that, though, I want to go talk to, um, what happens, because if you look, Kingseeker Frampt is still at Firelink Shrine. Let's go find out what happens now that we've... Placed the Lord Vessel. Placed the Lord Vessel and committed ourselves to, uh, to Kath. He's gonna be pissed. Yeah, I imagine that would be his reaction. Of course, we had, you know, like, in this playthrough, we've never talked to him. You could not be the chosen one. Enough. I shall slumber until I am awakened again. Huh. And he's gone. So he just goes away. Yep. He's angry at you. And we'll wait. Await, I guess, whatever. Who knows? Patient beings, I guess, huh? Yeah. And uh, if you manage to find Kath... Um... Uh, before you find Frampt, uh -huh. but you commit to Frampt instead, then Kath will say something similar. Look at that damage you're doing. It's nice. He likes trying to t talk like me or something. Well, yeah, I'm trying to be the coach, Travis. Gotta watch out for that reach. <laughs> it's true, though. You do. You gotta play this guy careful. You gotta get him with your bow and arrow. Oh! Ooh, watch that out. was a nice follow-up. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> I'm impressed. No, it's not. It's not fun. It's less than fun. Gotta bait his attack and then hit him while he recovers. Yeah. Oh, you got lucky. So now what? Now that you don't have, or how do you not take the prescribed path because the first flame is still in front of you and there's no clear, like, obvious option? I, if when you click on the first flame, does it automatically start the cutscene? I, I don't remember from Baby Cakes first. Yeah, thing. you just push the button and then you can do it. So you can also choose not to do it. And that's now that we know that there's an alternate path. Um, we're not explicitly told the path, but we're basically just choosing to ignore lighting the flame and we're just going to leave. So let's do that. Okay. We are here to serve your highness. Wow, that's a lot. Let true dark be cast upon the world. Our Lord hath returned. And that's it. That's all there is. Wow. So it's short, just like the other one, but there's a little bit more because there's actually some exposition at the end. And I mean, it doesn't even explicitly 
mean that it's a positive thing or a good thing for man. It just shows you that the primordial serpents are... Well, they're your servants, and now you're the Dark Lord. Oh, yeah. And so now and you, you, you yeah. usher in the Age of Dark, which is the next natural progression of the mm -hmm. world, rather than just... And from everything we've been led to believe, it's supposed to be the Age of Man, right? Yeah. Oh. Age of Dark, Age of Man. This is our time to be instead of under the shadow of the gods. So. Well, that's it. Uh, so, from... I just, we just wanted to show that alternate ending. And from here, we will... Um, Probably be moving on to Onimusha. Yeah, the Onimusha series is going to be awesome, man. I'm stoked. Yeah, I'll be playing the majority of that because I've never played it and Marcus will be the one teaching me. Yeah, yeah. So we'll go through Onimusha 1, Onimusha 2, Onimusha 3. Not necessarily like right away because I don't know. Neo's coming out soon. Right. And I'm stoked for Neo. Neo's going to be awesome. Yeah, Neo's pretty, pretty, looks pretty cool. And it's kind of a mixture of both of those games. So we're hoping. Yeah, it's just kind of happenstance that we're, you know, going yeah, through Dark Souls and then Oni and then. Yeah, we tried the demo. It wasn't, um,. It wasn't bad. Like, I liked it. It was a lot of fun. It was way more, like, stamina management heavy and, like, the combat systems. and the... It's going to be a lot of fun. There's uh, no shield, though, so it's, it's a little bit like Bloodborne in that aspect. Yeah, I didn't even... I guess I didn't even notice that there was no shield. I'm not... I, I guess... I don't even know if I used a shield in Dark Souls 3 because I was so used to Bloodborne. That's true. But, uh... We're still kind of kicking back and forth uh, how to go about playing Neo. Um, because I... You know, played the entire Dark Souls series, so that's uh, hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of this game. Travis probably won't make it through the whole Oni series by the time Neo comes out. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions, that would be awesome. Any of our commenters, if you guys uh, have anything you want to see, or because uh, right now we're probably thinking that Travis will play through it, and I'll try to play through it at home and maybe get a little bit ahead or, or something because. Uh, it looks like an awesome game, and it won't be so much one person coaching the other as the rest of our videos would have been. It would just be us kind of discovering it at the same time. So, uh, yeah. if you guys have any suggestions, that would be great to hear from. All right. So, um, well, with that said, um, this has been Rough Night Gaming. I'm Marcus. And I'm Travis. And we'll see you next time.